All right, hey everyone. The next pro tip that I wanna cover is how to use color and borders in a thoughtful way to create polished Excel reports. Now, it's important to keep in mind that fill colors and border settings, they're not just stylistic tools. When you use them carefully and strategically, they can actually go a long way to help improve the readability of your reports. They can help to create important spacing between cells and most importantly, draw attention to key metrics or trends or patterns that may have otherwise just been lost in the noise. And one particular tip that I use all the time is hiding the worksheet grid lines and then adding white borders to create a nice clean and polished look. So let me show you what that would look like here. Let's say you've got a range of cells. You've got things spaced kind of nicely. I've got some cell fill there. You're looking at some traffic metrics and some lead metrics. If you select that entire range, go into your home tab, drill into those border options and down where you see the draw border tools, you'll see the line color option. When you select white, you can use that tool and apply those white borders to create an effect that looks something like this. And note, I've also added some darker shading here to draw attention to some columns. But basically what we've done is use borders in kind of a non-traditional way. We're not using borders to add lines between cells. We're using borders to essentially create the illusion of spacing between cells. And that can really help uh, with readability and with creating professional quality, uh, really nice and clean reports. So the use cases here, uh, designing tools and dashboards that don't have that spreadsheet look and feel. And then again, creating separation between cells or columns or values without having to manually add uh, extra redundant rows or columns. So let's go ahead and give this a shot in our pro tips workbook. All right, so go ahead and head to your table of contents tab at the beginning of the workbook and look for the color and border demo in the formatting tips section and go ahead and press link to jump straight to the tab. And what you're looking at here is basically just a raw unformatted chunk of data. And we've got some traffic metrics here like impressions and clicks. We've got some lead metrics, we've got transactions. And this kind of follows uh, a purchase funnel, right? So maybe we're driving traffic to a website here and we're looking at data week over week. And then some of that traffic will convert into leads and some of those leads will ultimately convert into what we care about, which are actual transactions. So in its current format, uh, this is very, very hard to interpret. Uh, as a user, you don't really derive any value from it because the human brain just isn't designed uh, to see patterns when data is formatted in a, a raw tabular style like this. Um, so what we're gonna do is use basic formatting tools. We're gonna use colors and borders uh, to really help polish this a little bit more and help the user digest the information, and draw their attention to the metrics and the columns that we care most about. So starting with color, um, one thing that I like to do is uh, format my most important columns with a nice green. It's a subtle way to tell the user, hey, these are cells that I care most about. In this case, those would be our transactions. So let's go ahead in our home tab, give those transactions a light shade of green and then we can give the header uh, a green shade as well for the sake of consistency. But to make it pop a little bit more, let's go one shade darker. So there you go, we've got our transaction metrics in green. Leads are also important, but they're not quite as important. They're kind of like a mid midway stop to a transaction. So let's go ahead and maybe use something like uh, an orange or a yellow here uh, for leads. Same thing with the header, we'll make it pop a little bit more with a slightly darker shade. And then traffic is something that we don't necessarily optimize to. So we can use more of a natural uh, neutral shade here, like maybe a, like a light grayish blue and then format that header in line. So even just those simple steps have helped to create some separation between these kind of categories of metrics, uh, which has really started to go a long way already. And now what if there are some columns here that we care more about? We certainly care about the volume of impressions and clicks or leads or transactions, but what's more important to us and perhaps to our client are the rates, the cost per click and the click rate, the cost per lead and the lead rate, and the cost per transaction and transaction rate. If that's the case, one little 
tip that we can use here, continuing to just use colors and cell fills, is to highlight these a slightly darker shade, just like we did with the header. And that basically tells the user these columns are still related to our other traffic metrics, but hey, pay a little bit closer attention to these because these are the ones we really care about. We're gonna do the same thing with our lead numbers here, the darker yellow, and with our transaction numbers with a darker green. So again, even just a few simple steps, and we're starting to really bring this data to life using very fundamental tools. Um, next up, I wanna show you how to use that border tool, that white border approach to turn this from kind of a set of spreadsheet numbers into something that looks like more of a polished report. And the first step to do that is actually to hide the grid lines here, which you can do in your view tab, just deselect the grid line box. And now it looks kind of like we're working on a blank white canvas. Then you're gonna go back into home. You're gonna select all of the cells where you'd like to apply these borders and then drill into the border settings right here in the font category. And what we wanna do is go down to line color and select white. And then before you do anything, drill back into your border settings we're going to go into line style and select a slightly thicker border option here in the middle. And then again, one more time back into borders and click the all borders button. And there you have it. We've applied those borders to the entire selection of cells. And this has created that effect of generating spaces almost between those cells and creating a nice separation to make these values a little bit more readable. So you could certainly apply your own types of styles to this, or you could take it from here and go even further, but that's a nice way to use some of those simplest tools like fill and borders to create nice, clean, polished looking reports.